Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments. With a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency, and make money online opportunities, and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video until the end because if you don't, you'll be automatically disqualified from the giveaway. We will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily and then comment hashtag the keyword in the comment section. Also, today being Sunday, we will be announcing the lucky weekly winner from this week's giveaway. Good luck. Now, let's continue with the latest Iraq in our Intel provider news today. Please take any of these information with a grain of salt and do your own research. From Intel Guru Frank 26, why would Iran be at the CBI governor's office dealing with international issues? I think you know why. They can't steal anymore. The floor is spotless. It's dinner time. Something is about to happen. From Newshound Guru Samson article, instead of the President of the Republic, the Sudanese participates in the United Nations General Assembly meeting. Quote, Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani is scheduled to participate in the annual meeting of the United Nations General Assembly next week. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, member comment, I am hearing Tuesday is our day. From Mark Z, that timing certainly fits. We are also expecting an announcement from the Iraqi officials here in the States at that same time. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, announcement of a tender for supply, installing and operating counting and sorting machines and currency packing machines. Quote, the Central Bank of Iraq announces the conduct of a public and private tender to equip, install and operate machines for counting and sorting Iraqi and foreign currency. Number 30 in currency packing machines. Number 4 machines for the Central Bank of Iraq, Kurdistan Region Branch, Erbil. From Intel Duru Ray Ren 98 via Sweepias 7. The clock is ticking. I'm fixed on a set time for today. From Intel Duru Angel 1, there is one more requirement the WTO is asking from Iraq. And that is to change their exchange rate. That is what the WTO is waiting for. From Intel Guru Frank 26, CBI put out a RFP request for proposal tender. From Shine Doddle, it appears to be the government of Iraq is seeking contractor bids for the purchase of machines used to count, sword and packet currency. In my opinion, that would be for the new currency in the lower denominations and the new small category notes. From Frank, this is fantastic. Then an article comes out and says, this tender will be accomplished by October 22nd, 2023. October 22nd is simply the time limit parameters of this tender. You think it's going to take until October the 22nd? No. From Newshound Guru Militia Man article, instead of the President of the Republic, the Sudanese participates in the United Nations General Assembly meeting. Quote, the United Nations General Assembly meeting scheduled to be held on Monday, September 18th, 2023. There is obvious motivation for him to move up his schedule up from the 20th to the 18th. Is there more to the story than meets the eye? He would have to be awfully motivated to move things along so quickly now. The UST apparently wrapped it up in Baghdad this week, and from the successes of those meetings that were ongoing, they may have allowed for the urgency of him to arrive in the USA. I like it. From Newshound Guru Sandy Ingram, good news, Iraq and the US hold financial reform discussions in Baghdad. This little meeting not reported in the mainstream news tells us the US may be ready to help Iraq move towards significant growth in its currency. At least we hope that's what this meeting is pointing to. From Intel Guru Bruce via Wiser Now, information is coming in. Most likely we'll see something on Monday. Now, it could be notifications. It could be the start of exchanges. 
From newshound Guru Caperoni, Iraq can talk about the WTO all the time and they can get excited about joining. But it's all hype until Iraq, it creates the conditions for them to be a full member. Currently, they are still 90% dependent on oil exports. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is IntelliInvest. This will be for next Sunday's giveaway. Now, let's announce who's the lucky winner of the 100 Dogecoin. A lucky winner is shown on the screen. Congratulations! Please contact us via email and the email contact will be provided under the description of this video. On the email, please use 100 Dogecoin winner in the subject line and provide your Dogecoin address. We will also reply to your original comment and let you know that you are the winner as well. You have four days to claim your prize. Okay. Let's move on, the last one is from Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report. From Firefly, Sudani said he's not worried about the parallel black market. They have a mechanism which is about to be implemented that will down the dollar and make the dinar strongest. From Frank, what? Good God Almighty. Holy guacamole. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these intel providers? Yesterday we posted this breaking news article. We have delved into a crucial development in Iraq's economic and monetary landscape. A parliamentary representative, Mama Khalil, is taking bold steps to address the escalating crisis surrounding the US dollar's rising exchange rate against the Iraqi dinar. Please make sure to check out this video. Lastly, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video.